it seems like it's been forever, but guys, don't worry. I've been trying to sort out a bunch of stuff with streaming and stuff like that. I do want to start streaming. But either way, Call of Duty Black Ops, Cold War, or Call of Duty 2020 got so many, like, new, like, teasers. Legit teasers from Activision, which I'm sure all of you guys know about them. This Friday, we have a huge teaser coming. No one knows what it is. At first, we thought it was, like, the legit reveal, but no, it's just going to be teasers. It's already been... It's already been confirmed by Activision that it's not the reveal, sadly. I mean, everyone does know that it's going to be revealed in Warzone this season. One of the things I'm really hoping with COD 2020 is that the store is not this bad. They think this, each COD point, every 100 COD points is a dollar. So they count this bundle as $24, and it's just gold camo. And there's a golden dismember, dismemberment effect, which is cool. But at the end of the day, like, check this out. This is $12. What even is this? They count this as $12. I really hope Treyarch actually adds really cool items in the shop like they usually do. Like in Black Ops 4, the reactive camos were sick, and I just want that back. I know Infinity Ward usually likes going with the more realistic route, so that's what they did with this Call of Duty. But I just think it's boring. And I'm sorry I haven't been uploading that, that much at all. Bruh. It's just... I want to start streaming. I'm not too sure when or how it's gonna work out, but we'll see when the time comes. And I also w really wanted to wait for the reveal. I mean, the reveal should have happened like so much long ago, you know? And I'm so surprised that it still hasn't happened yet. So many people thought the reveal was coming this weekend or last weekend, but it just never happened. And I just don't know when the reveal is happening. I mean, the fact that the map design is already confirmed to be like the normal map design, like in older Call of Duties, is already makes me super hyped for this game. Got him. Oh, that was too close for comfort, dude. I didn't even notice the- I, I didn't even notice this. I think that's one thing I'm really bad at is like... Looking for claymores and bouncing betties during mid-match. I just always focus on like... The gunplay instead of the bounce- like everything around me, basically. I'm just wondering, if Treyarch is doing a Cold War game... I hope they don't go with the realistic route like in this game. I really don't. I don't think they will. But if they do, that's that I'm gonna be so disappointed. And I'm talking about mostly cosmetic stuff, you know. But if Treyarch's good at anything, and that this game will hopefully prove me right, is that they know how to make Call of Duty fast paced, so. I didn't even notice the guy. I, I thought that was just I thought he was literally part of the map for some reason. I feel like games shouldn't go this long without getting a kill. Like, I just- I just can't. I actually have been playing older Call of Duties, and like, it's just a blast, and I love playing them. It's actually fun, like, I actually enjoy my time. And I'm not sure what happened, but like, this game has so much more campers than any other Call of Duty I've ever actually played, so... Like, they're all camping in this spot, I don't understand! I failed. Get the hell out of here, camper. I already killed him, buddy. What are you doing? What is he doing? Get the hell out of here. We finally got them out of their spawn, so that, that makes me happy. Damn, I, I, I risked it for the biscuit, it just didn't work out. <laughs> One thing I'm really hoping for is when we buy something in the shop, I want it to work on all guns. Like, I wish this camo worked on all guns. Like, I know that's not how reactive camos worked either, but reactive camos are way, like, way cooler. But this is just a simple camo. I wish we could have, like, a simple camo work on all weapons, you know? Like, if I could put this on any weapon I want, that would be so sick. And if, instead of just the gun I bought it for, and it would definitely make the price worth the money, like, it would make it worth, like, $10 or however the, it much it costs, you know? I really doubt that that's what they're gonna do, but, like, it, it's something I would wish for. So I've actually never played this map yet, so we'll see how it goes. This reminds me of an Infinite Warfare map, though. Got him. He's just gonna camp there, isn't he? 
Still out of here. I'm out of ammo, so I'm gonna have to use this bad boy. Like, I like camos like these. Like, the one I'm holding right now, like... They're actually way cooler looking than the, just the plain 10 $20 camos. Like, a golden camo is cool, but like... We can just unlock gold for free, so it's like... Sh should it be really be worth like $10, $20 to make it a little cooler than normal gold? I don't know. I'm so dead. Sorry. I've ran out of ammo. <laughs> Hide. Damn it. You know, low key, this map's actually not bad. I actually don't mind it at all. It has a nice layout. I don't know if it's just me. It definitely has a more Call of Duty feel and tight, close quarter type combat. Stupid. I don't like the fact that there's a, quite a bit of head glitches on this map, but that's like this entire game, so. I feel like my footsteps are super loud on this map. I don't know why. Got him. Yeah. No, there's a third one. Damn it. I really didn't think, I didn't expect a third person to come out of nowhere. Now, I love Black Ops 4's gameplay with the 150 health. Super fun. And uh, we already know that's coming back with this new Call of Duty, except there won't be stims, so that's interesting. And then again, these are all leaks, not actual facts, so we'll see, I guess. Got a hit marker, that's cool. Got him. I got an assist? No, I didn't. I don't think I did. Someone got an assist. I think it was the grenade kill behind me. Run. Got him. Oh, I don't know how I'm alive, guys. How? It was the Odin. I shouldn't have hit fired. I should have aimed down my sight, but like, I was scared. I thought it was a shotgun, honestly. I've actually been playing against shotguns so often that I actually expect shotgun fights. Eh, that's why I jumped. That's why I jumped. Hoping that a shotgun will hit my feet and not kill me instantly. You know? And that's just how it is in this game. Always expect, expect the batons! I didn't hear his footsteps at all. He must have dead sounds or something. I don't know. I'm sorry. I thought he would be reloading and not throwing a C4, but that's, I don't know. Definitely not a bad map, but I actually really like the map. It's honestly not bad at all. See, these are the types of maps I like, like more close quarter combat, you know? Uh, not many camping spots, you know? Then again, that was only one match. I don't know how it actually plays out. I would have to play it a lot more. But it feels really good. And Superstore is also a good map too. I really do like it. But sometimes you get those games where they just camp in the back of their spawn. That's just how it is. Another thing I really hope for this next Call of Duty has, which is already confirmed to have, is, well, pr pretty much confirmed, is that it's going to have prestiging. I'm rank 65, a couple more ranks, and I'll be like 150, and that's it. That's done for the whole entire season. And trust me, each season's only like a couple months. So that's a long time of not leveling up. You can get to level 150 in like, a week like max it depends how much you play obviously but like a couple months is not a lot of time or a couple months is way too much time for only level 150 i feel like it was such a bad idea i don't i'm not a game developer but i honestly i would have never made that decision oh you guys that's gonna be it also i didn't buy this battle pass if you guys notice because i feel like it's just not good the best camo in this battle pass is like this this is the best camo in the battle pass like this is I don't know, dude. I just feel like if any if anyone could make a game and then Treyarch make all the cosmetic stuff, you know, I, I wouldn't mind. Then again, it would probably be a, like this game. So like this is a legendary. This is gold. I just clicked off of it. This is gold. This is legendary blueprint. And like, you know, it, it's actually cool looking, but like it's only on a little parts of the gun. So it's like, is it even worth it? I don't know. This is like one of the last legendaries. I think there's one more after this, but like. It's just black. <laughs> it's just black. I don't know, and this is the last unlock. Like, I don't know. The mag's the only cool part about this gun. Like, I don't know if it's just me. That's why I didn't buy the battle pass. Like, I just feel like this game does not have a lot of cool cosmetic stuff. Anyway, I'm just rambling on. That's gonna be it, dude. Hopefully Friday becomes is a really cool leak. Or reveal. I know it's not the huge reveal trailer and stuff, but like, I can't wait for that to come. 
I know starting now it's gonna be review after review after review and hopefully the reveal trailer then maybe a beta coming very soon but we'll see